Hello, Ali Rayner and fellow students of Study Period 2 2017 Information Systems Analysis and Design. My name is Cameron Barry and for my assignment 3 presentation I will be answering question 1. The organisation that I'll be using for assignment 3 is a well-known retail provider, being a 7-Eleven store located in one of the company's service stations in Brisbane in Queensland. The store is open to the public 24 hours a day. 7-Eleven is primarily an operator of convenience stores in the majority of the Australian states. The company has also branched out into fuel sales, selling mobile fuels via 7-Eleven branded service stations. Currently, annual turnover is approximately $3.6 billion from its 630 plus stores. The information system targeted for investigation and discussion is the retail point of sale system for the sale and management of TransLink Go cards. The 7-Eleven organisation has been selected as one of the partner retailers where prospective users of the card can make their initial purchase and following that manage certain aspects of their account and card. For those of you unfamiliar with the Go card, it is used for payment of transport fares on trains, buses, trams and city cab ferries in South East Queensland. Similar systems are in place in other major capitals and their surrounds in Australia. For example, Sydney has the Opal card and Melbourne the Mikey card. Back to the system. In the 7-Eleven store, there's a point of sale or POS terminal with barcode reader and small receipt printer attached. The retail system is then connected over wide area network or internet to the central servers administering the system. The POS terminal is usually located on the front counter near the cash registers, allowing easy access when the staff member is interacting with the customer. The users of the system are the frontline customer service staff that serve customers face to face. The primary business function supported by the system is the sale and account management of the TransLink Go card. This can be further broken down into the following functions. At the initial sale, following receipt of payment, the card is activated and is live real time, allowing the customer to leave the store and use the transport network straight away. Users are able to also visit any one of the 7-Eleven stores and add further credit known as a top up in person to their Go card. The system provides a lookup function that allows the staff member to ascertain the status of the card. For example, is it active or inactive? As well as the current balance, recent trips undertaken, etc. In person, users are also able to take in an expired Go card and have it reactivated. This is usually required for one of the various concessions available such as student or pensioner, whereby the user is required to attend in person with the correct photo identification to qualify for application of the concession to their card. The system also performs inventory management at this level, keeping track of the available stock of the various cards, for example senior child or adult, at a particular store. When stocks are low of a particular type of card and fall below a set threshold, an event is triggered with central supply issuing a further bundle of cards to that location. I believe that the information system effectively supports the frontline service staff in their dealings with customers coming in for an inquiry or transaction related to the Go card. I would like to illustrate this by way of an example. Recently I was approached by my 13 year old son at around 9pm one Monday night informing that he tried to use his Go card the week before and that it was expired. He further informed me that he needed to use it the following afternoon to catch a ferry on his way to soccer training. As he is under the age of 14 years old, he holds a Go card, and being a secondary school student, he is eligible for a concession. A quick visit over the internet to the Transing website provided the information that I needed. He, the expired Go card, and his current school photo ID all needed to be present together at a retail outlet for verification. The search function under the Find a Retailer link also pointed me to the recently opened 7 Eleven service station nearby that also happened to be open 24 hours a day to cater for our needs. Off we went. Upon arrival, we went into the 7-Eleven and I explained our predicament to the custom service staff member on duty. He validated my son as being a year eight student by viewing his student ID card and then logged into his POS terminal, scanned the Go card and reactivated it. Advised me that a new expiry date was then set into early 2018 and that we had about $10 available credit remaining. 
I asked to top up the card by $20. Following a few keystrokes, I was holding my credit card over the PayPass reader on the counter to complete the financial transaction. The staff member handed me the TransLink receipt and in under five minutes we were out the door again. Thank you for watching this presentation and I trust you found it interesting.